Hello guys, in this video, I'll show you how to recover your forgotten or lost Windows password using Lasersoft Recovery Suite. There are a few different tools out there that can help you with this, and we've covered some of them in other videos. But this one stands out. It actually lets you reset your Windows password for free. The only thing you can't do is set a new password in the free version. You can reset it to a blank password and then create a new one once you're back into Windows. All right, let's go ahead and walk through the entire process step by step. So to recover your Windows password, you'll need another computer to download the software. You'll also need a USB flash drive. At least four gigabytes is fine since this tool doesn't take up much space. First, open your browser and type Lasersoft in the search bar. Click on the first result, which should be the official website, lasersoft.com. Once you're there, click on download button at the top. You will see several four different versions of Lasersoft. Choose Lasersoft Recovery Suite Home Edition. This version is completely free to use, so you don't need to worry about any licenses. The professional and server editions are paid versions, but for what we're doing, the free home edition works perfectly. Once the download is complete, right click on the file and select open to start the installation. Just follow the on-screen steps to install the software. It's pretty straightforward. After the installation finishes, launch Lasersoft and you'll see its main interface. Lasersoft includes four main tools, Windows Recovery, Data Recovery, Disk Image and Clone and password recovery. In this case, we'll be using it to create a bootable USB drive so we can reset the password directly from it. To do that, click on burn CD slash USB disk from the main menu. Next, choose your target operating system. In my case, it's Windows 11, but it works the same for Windows 10 or any other version. Click next, and on the next screen, select bootable USB drive. I've already connected my USB flash drive, so it's showing up here as drive E. Once selected, click start and Lasersoft will begin creating the bootable USB. When the process is finished, click finish button. Now, take that USB drive and plug it into the computer where you've forgotten your Windows password. We'll use it to reset login password in the next step. All right, now we're on the computer where we're going to reset the password. The first thing you need to do is plug in the USB drive we created earlier using Lasersoft. Then, restart your computer and boot from the USB drive using your system's BIOS key. The BIOS key can vary depending on your computer's brand, so make sure to check which one works for your system. Once Lasersoft starts loading, it will automatically take you to the main menu. Here, select Password Recovery option. Then next choose Reset Windows Password from the drop-down menu and click Next. You'll see a message saying that the Lasersoft Home Edition is licensed for non-commercial use only. Just click Yes to continue. After that, select your Windows version and click Next again. Now you'll see a list of all the user accounts on your system. Choose the account you want to reset. In my case, it's Byte Geek. If you're not sure which account is yours, you can reset all of them just to be safe. Once you've selected the right one, click Next. On the next screen, click Reset Unlock the blue circle button. Lasersoft will instantly remove the password, allowing you to log into Windows without entering any password. It's a super simple and effective way to reset your forgotten Windows password. Now, after resetting the password, go ahead and restart your system. This time, when you reach the login screen, it won't ask for a password. You can simply click the sign in button and it will sign in automatically without asking password. And that's how you can easily reset your Windows login password in just a few simple steps. I hope this tutorial helped you successfully regain access to your computer. If it did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more helpful tech tutorials. If you run into any issues or something doesn't work as expected, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.